Here's another GCSE maths exam question for you. Most students start this in the wrong place. Pause the video and give this a try. Let's check the answer. The diagram shows triangle PQR and we know this angle is 48. This angle here is 76 degrees and point S is on this straight line PSQ. The size of angle QRS, this is QRS and PRS, this yellow angle is PRS, are in the ratio 3 is to 2. Now, if I call this angle 3x, I can call this one 2x. The question is to work out the size of the angle QSR, this one here. Now, let's call this angle Y. Now, we need to first think of a way of figuring out what X is. In fact, if you think about the big triangle PQR, all three angles should add up to 180 degrees because interior angles of any triangle add up to 180. So let's do that. 76 degrees, add 48 degrees. Now this whole angle here is 3x add 2x, 5x is equal to 180 degrees. And let's write the reason here like this. Now many students just write angles in a triangle add up to 180. That's okay. You'll get away with that in GCSEs. However, the GCSE exam standard way is to say interior angles of a triangle add up to 180 degrees. Now 76 add 48 is 124 add 5x is 180 degrees. So we get 5x is equal to 180 degrees take away 124 degrees. So 5x is equal to 56 degrees. Divide both sides by 5, cross them out, and I know x is equal to 11.2. Now, when x is 11.2, we know this angle here is 3x, so that will be 3 times 11 which is 33.6 degrees. Now we are going to consider this triangle and all the interior angles again add up to 180 exactly for the same reason. So we can write y add 48 add 33.6 is 180 degrees. Same reason as above. Now y add 48 add 33.6 gives me 81.6, 180 degrees, move it to the other side and you get the value of y and here is the final answer. y is equal to 98.4 degrees. Done. If this question helped you, watch the full GCSE Maths exam sprint series. Real exam questions every time.